posted a video last night that I'll attach here. If you are my YouTube people, just go look at my shorts. It was the last short that I posted where I tell you that the guy I've been seeing asked me to be his girlfriend. And as he is, you know, giving me his spiel, um, he tells me that I'm, I make him nervous and you know, he's smiling about it. Oh, isn't that cute? But then I know from past experience, and, and before you tell me I'm overthinking, just hold on a second. He admitted that he is intimidated by me because he's never met a woman as confident as I am. Now, I don't know how I feel about that because I've dated men who have been intimidated by me and they always wind up treating me like shit. Now, this guy has not, um, it's almost going on four months of us talking. He has not displayed any kind of red flags as of yet. That's why I'm just taking things slow. From past experience, I know on my end, when men have made me nervous, it's because they completely dysregulated my nervous system and they wound up just fucking me up. Now, do I, am I gonna fuck his life up? I mean, if he fucks with me, yeah. But other than that, that I don't go out with the intention of being mean to people. Hold on. I am not in a rush to have children with anyone. And I also already have two children. I'm not in a rush to get engaged or to be married or to live with someone or to be in a relationship. I am financially stable, so I'm not looking for somebody to provide for me. There is no sense of urgency. I am whole and I love my life as it is. I don't feel like there's anything missing or broken. So a relationship, a man, is not a need in my life. With that being said, I can carefully examine the things that guys tell me. I can take the time to actually hear and go home and marinate on whether this actually makes sense to me. I can actually listen to my gut and, and if there are any red flags, pay attention to that and, and, and know that I can get the, I need to get the fuck on. And, you know, it's really frustrating that women, they'll hear us say like decenter men and they're like, well, I still want to date men. I still want to, we're not saying that you can't. And at least I have never, you know, well, maybe I have jokingly, but I would never say, you know, you, you're not allowed to get married. Man, or like, or like. When you decenter men, it's living your life, focusing on you and the things that you want. Because when I, when I talk to these men, I'm thinking, how are they going to fit into my life? I want to eventually move out of the state, move out of the country. How are they going to fit into that? Are they trying to stay here for the rest of their lives? Okay, well then that's not going to make sense for me. I can be talking to a guy and still keep my same bedtime and keep my same self self care routine and hold true to the commitments that I've already made to my friends and especially most importantly my children I always tell you guys we have to start using our head okay because have we not heard enough cautionary tales of women who just fell in love and then smacked the concrete and lost everything the women who have lost their lives, men have the potential to completely screw you over and ruin your life to the point where it is unrecon to the point where you're sitting on the edge of your bed one day thinking, what the fuck was I involved in? And I really wish more women would understand that. So someone might think that I'm overthinking or being to this or being to that or being extra. I need to just relax. I don't think I'm relaxing enough, to be quite honest, because I don't want to commit to something or someone that's going to go against my plan of the things that I want for my life. And you might think, well, that's selfish. Well, men don't give a fuck when they're looking for a woman who will fulfill their purpose and give up everything to fulfill their purpose and to build them up and to help them get promoted and to build their fucking business and to write they can they love having children because you're going to fucking raise them they 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 think with themselves in mind so why can't i why am i now being too much because i do like to have fun 
and I do enjoy the company of the guy that I'm talking to. Yes, he knows I'm talking to y'all. You didn't get fucked. Um, but as far as committing to someone, that is serious. I, I take that seriously. So I'm not willing to just do it with anybody, and I'm not willing to just do it because you should. I'm just not going to do that. So I do take things like this very seriously. Um, and I, I really think that more women should. And if this person decides that, hey, I don't want to continue on like this. I don't like the path that this is taking. That's totally fine, too. I'm a sexy ass bitch. There will be others. There have been others. I will be OK because I'm not thinking this is going to be my last chance. So I have to take it. That's also another way that we get ourselves in trouble. Men are like buses. Yada, yada, you know how that goes.